Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of XCOM Long War Impossible. I am Fall again today we are coming out to take care of a crashed Raider UFO. Uh, the people I take uh, for this mission are mostly people that are close to a promotion. I want to get uh, uh, everybody higher up if possible. I take only one arc thrower with me. But I am working on to train additional engineers, one of them being Durand, which I want to be the volunteer. I have my previous Strike capture one. team in the uh, Sieg Bay for a month, so I want to... Our target to site is near the German border. The downed UFO is in a densely populated urban area. We'll need to move in and secure the scene before people start panicking. As I was saying, I need to uh, level up a secondary capture team, which means I need two engineers. One of them is B. Sombrad, who is uh, about to reach the point when he can get repair. And uh, the other is Annette, who is uh, very far from repair, but she is my volunteer, so I want to take her to as many missions as possible to level her, level her up. But for now, let's uh, think about tactics. We are in the city, which means that I will either go straight to the UFO and then use the insides uh, heavy, heavy cover and so on to lure the aliens to me, or if I land in the city I will just uh, probably go to the top and try to rain that down below. We shall see right about now. Okay, everything is clear. Come on, Bradford. It's your cue. Hello, Bradford. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Okay, uh, tactics for now seem pretty clear. We are going up. We are taking the building as my fortifications. I'm going to be raining dead down below. On the move. I'm sorry, I'm going to be raining dead down below and uh, after the On smoke the is cleared I will enter the UFO and deal with the command the pod. Everything seems to be yeah. in order and... Uh, well, there isn't to much position. to say until I know what enemies okay, I'm up I'll against. That's the aliens uh, haven't really told me what is their direction for this month, and that is a little worrying. They seem to be all over the place, uh, whether they are simply lacking st uh, a long-term strategy, or is there some scheme behind it that I do not yet see. We shall see. But for now we know we will be facing mechtoids. That's a piece of intel that is good to have. It shouldn't be a problem, really. Unless Shao Jie would uh, take uh, the very weird path and decide to activate something, but luckily we managed to avoid it. And so, we are slowly but surely approach the UFO. This could really end in a couple of the mothers, so we had might actually meet enemies faster than I expected. But you know what, I'm not going to go there to get them. Unless maybe... If they are here, I will not have the ways of dealing with them. Hmm. Well, I'm going to uh, send Cynthia that way just to see. So far so good, that means I can at least get up there this turn without I'm being going. detected. And we will see uh, in the next turn yeah. what will we do be after that. Because yeah, sure, it would be very very nice to be able to... Hey, camera! Hmm. How dare you are. It would be very, very nice to be able to come into the UFO with a clean slate, knowing there is no more aliens coming to help the command pod, but uh, is that really going to be a possibility? Okay, okay, I'm, I, I'm just gonna have to click what would be more uh, time efficient. I'm on it, Commander. 
because the last thing I want to do right now is to approach the enemy pod and uh, have to fight them with a very bad position from where I really can't see how I would hide. I have a couple of half covers, I have the staircase and basically I would have to count on gunning them down and if I'm already in the... oh that's interesting and if I'm already in the UFO then I could uh, take my time, set, set up positions and have them walk right into me I never pay any attention to the surroundings by the way, look at this that UFO dealt some nasty damage when it was falling okay, anyway Alright, I think I, uh, it is time to make a man manly decision. You know what? Fuck those aliens. If they want, they can come to me and uh, we can kill them on my terms. I'm I'm going to stick to my one rule, which is uh, very important in all kinds of strategies. If you want to win, do not play the same game as your enemy does. I'm gonna play my own game, I'm not going to uh, try to clean the patrols, I'm not going to try to uh, outwit and outsmart the aliens playing their game, I'm going to simply uh, make my own game, my own rules, with blackjack and hookers, and I'm not gonna tell it to anybody. So I'm going to go straight into the heart of the enemy, I'm going to rip it out, and then I'm going to burn the blood as it is falling out of the wound. Okay, now it's going to now it's going to be the most crucial turn. When I approach the edge of the building, I'm going to see uh, that plaza and all the aliens that are down there. If they are mechtoids, they will probably go for an overwatch moment, and that means I have to have a rocketeer already in position. Come on, Wally. Ah, clean, clean as a whistle. On my way. Interesting, interesting. Andando. Okay, I'll go. Well, I'm going to take positions now. I'm on my and way. I'm going to worry about uh, going down next turn. I'm on the move. I think I'm going to have my mechs go first, supported by now. my rifles from the k edge of the building, and we will see if we actually get into an engagement, okay? For now, let's overwatch. I pity the fools who would walk into me right now. We have some pretty advanced troops on the field. Okay, looks like one of the melds are dead. I'm fine with that. I honestly do not care. And... Uh, yeah, I think I want to have Cynthia take the first move. She's not a tank, but that's fine. Alright, looks clear enough. Now the tank will follow. Moving to position. If we can get into the command pod and kill them easily, then that would be very, uh, very beneficial to me. That uh, would be practically very great. Because then I could easily take positions in the co in the cockpit, and I would have the aliens come at me. And they would die so hard. I'll pick up the pace. But uh, let's uh, cut the dream, the dream talk. I want to get there before I start thinking about some complicated plans. Practically, I'm already thinking about what I'm going to do when I eliminate the command pod, and I have I don't even know what it is yet. Is it set to it commanders? Is it what? I don't know that. So what I'm doing right now is a very dangerous thing which uh, may very easily end up being the death of me. So how about I focus? How I want to approach the command pod? Well, I have two choices, it depends on where I think they might be. I can either go through that broken room, use that door, and we will fight them in the in here, then hide in the cockpit, wait for the aliens to come, 
and fuck him dead from there. That's one option. Okay, I think it's a secret commander bot. The other option would be to enter uh, through the, this uh, opening diagonally. Uh, the advantage of that would be that I don't have to open the door and I can set up an ambush over there. And that uh, may just be what I need. It would certainly be uh, the absolute best if I can set up an ambush behind the door and the aliens would just walk right through without suspecting anything. Then I could get in through, the, through this opening, it would be a very dangerous moment, but when I eliminate the command pod I can set up ambushes here and here and the aliens would come through the door, enter the opening and then die, or come over here and then die as well. Hmm. You know what, I think I'm going to risk. The approach through the through the door is much safer, but uh, then I would have to make an ambush a little uh, whales back, and that would suck. So I w I'm going to risk. Because I'm me. When have I not taken a risk? When I see something that can end in, the, in a complete disaster, then that's just... Uh, Practically, practically, it's a no-brainer that I'm taking it. When I see something that's dangerous and may end up bad, I'm there before I have a chance to say anything. It's almost like my brain isn't even working, it's just the adrenaline rush. Uh, but to make it safe, I'm going to have to hack the wall. When you see the little white, ci white circle over here, I'm going to hack that wall and uh, enter as far as I can into the cockpit. It might not be even a possibility, but if I'm Philippa makes way. it safely, we will know that everything is fine. Okay. All is well. That's so yes, basically sir. this is what I'm doing right now, and uh, it's a thing Come now. On. I wonder how uh, surprised the Mectoids are going to be when they enter the ambush and then just get totally slaughtered by eight overwatches, right? And hey, remember what I said about not thinking about uh, victory before, <laughs> before I've even seen the enemy? Well, there you go, there you have it, I do it again. I never learn, do I? And looks like the big day is tomorrow. And by that I mean next turn. What is making that sound? All right. In just a few seconds, the sa ship will sail. Okay, there it goes, everybody. The ship is sailing. All seamen to the poop deck. Oh, oh. Okay. Positive enemy contact. There we go. Oh, sectoid commander overwatching mectoid, and an outsider. Fair enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to Wally over here. Wally should have a nice and easy javelin shredder. It's gonna be very dangerous though. How about a nice and easy uh, normal hit rocket? Two and a half tile of spread, it might hit the mech but I hope it won't. <laughs> it didn't, but it did break their cover. So now, Philippa is going to finish off the very pretty outsider. I don't care about captures, I have more, uh, or more or less I have enough of everything. Come on, King. You have a shot, it's only a 25 though. Well, gotta count on your luck, we have to be fast with it. No potatoes. Okay, Dominga. You know what I want to do, people? I want to eat the Overwatch with Cynthia. Or do I? 
actually no, I want to kill the commander first. Oh, uh, if possible I won't even pull the overwatch. I have uh, probably, maybe, yeah. around three turns for everything. Before I have to be in position from where uh, there is no way back. Position confirmed. Come on, Brad. Have 18, 19. I don't want to use alien grenade on that particular location, but I do want to whisk out the outsider number two's cover. So alien grenade away. Savedra is going to protect me with the uh, smoke grenade anyway. Alright, now it's down time for Annette. Annette, Annette, Annette. You know what, I think it's time for Savedra to use that smoke grenade because we might walk into the Overwatch territory. And I certainly don't want to regret not using the smoke grenade. Come on, Annette. Earn your paycheck. Actually, what else do I have? I have Zang. Zang might be a better idea. For a very sim for a very simple reason, Zang can uh, run and gun. Already there. It might be a little tad risky. All right, we're fine. What do we have? 89, 92. What's more dangerous to me right now? I'm going to think about it. All right, what next? No, I guess it would be Annette's turn, because who, who's else, but I don't have where to put her, that's the problem. I will have ne uh, a place for her next turn, but not just yet. Yes, All I can yes. do is set her over here, and she sees nobody. I could use a grenade, but that would be pointless. So what do I need to kill? I, do I need to kill this guy who is in cover, who can mind control and do nasty stuff, or the highly mobile outsider? I'm gonna take the more dangerous opponent. That's another dead alien. All right, I think I can handle the uh, mechtoid uh, shots against my tank. Outsider is gonna hide and take more shots, but. He's gonna miss, that's good. The sh I was only afraid that his shot is gonna open the door. Okay. Good, good. So far, so good. I'm enjoying this right now. Okay, but this turn, uh, Mectoid and the uh, Sectoid, I mean, Outsider has to die as well. There is uh, no other way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the alien grenade to break up the outsider's cover. I don't care about it because I won't be using it. Oh no, the door! Oh fuck. My bad. And I will have Zang finishing the outsider off. And I mean, assuming I will be able to... Wait, that's Dominga. I meant Zang. with the... Uh, actually, no. I do not mean Zang. Heading to that location. Zang is gonna take a crack at the Mectoid. We have hit and run that is going to let me shoot twice. And uh, 68 is not enough for a bother. There we go. I want Philippa to come around and punch the fuck out of the outsider. It doesn't have to leave now, does it? Engaging in close combat. Bye bye. I love the power fist way too much to not do this. I'm sorry. And now everything depends on whether or not we manage to get a nice crit with Cynthia. If we can de deliver that to the Mectoid, then we might actually even get the melt that's on the other side of the wall, depending on whether or not the Mectoid will break it. Yes, it did. 
and that means everybody else is going to go and uh, is going to take position. We gotta run, there is no time to fuck around. King Reich is gonna have to run inside because there is more enemies coming. And uh, that's about it. Now, what else can I say? I wanna have a Wally in a position of note somewhere. Unfortunately, I had to break lots of lots of stuff in here, so I won't be enjoying that very much. But oh my fucking god, no! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Looks like the aliens were not where I expected expected them to be. Also, have I said oh fuck any uh, lately? Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, Dominga. Uh, smoke grenade, please. <laughs> oh crap! I am apologizing to any casualties we might be having right now. That's. Uh, not exactly what I was expecting, let's just say that. Okay? That's not what I had in mind. Verily. Uh, Anet can get safe for now. Uh, King Reich, I don't know where to put you. Dominga can stay where she is. Well, fuck. I did not see that coming totally. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I think we managed to survive if they all shoot the mechs and miss. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I can't look, no, seriously, we are gonna get fucked, aren't we? I can't even get into the LZ anymore, this is the death of me. Okay, shoot the mech, that's fine. That's one mech toy, that's the other. And is there gonna be more? Not yet. Ah, oh, this is scary as hell. We're gonna die, aren't we? Okay, I can get back and heal this up, uh, but... <laughs> oh shit, oh fuck. Okay, so... Uh, you, my dear friend, get the fuck out. Please do that for me. And... Uh, Wally, you have to get into cover. You are flanked, but it's only by a drone. And we don't care about that now, do we? We have a two and a f two point four tiles of spread. Don't care. Well, we did something. Okay, what do I do now? I have uh, two round with a perfect kill on a drone. Please, now survived with one hit point. Well, what did he do? I am guessing Zhang is going to fall back and reload for now. Position confirmed. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm ex uh, what I'm doing. I'm experimenting. I'm going to throw a chem grenade to at least lower the aim of those fucking mechtoids. How could this possibly have happened? Such a huge giant problem. Uh, King Reich, take care of the drone for me, please. You gotta. Alright, that's at least one problem solved. I'm gonna have Philippa use body shield and all, all the good stuff on the mechtoids. She's acided now as well, but uh, she doesn't care. 
At least we have done our best to stop the Mectoid menace. And... Uh, we gotta heal the mech number 2 before she's completely deaded. And I guess Zang has to reload his, himself. Alright, what now? We have body shield, we have chem grenade, we have everything we possibly can get. I'm being targeted. And now our survival is a matter of luck. It's gonna take more than that. Well, let's hope it takes more than that, because if it doesn't then I can just as well give up right now. Oh, I, I totally forgot about those guys, but I only assumed they are going to dash somewhere. There was what, drones in there and a sectoid, right? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Two more shots from the mechdoids. This may get bad. I can't afford the rebuilding those armors, so uh, respect your mechs. Okay. Alright, we are continuing on the cleaning duty. Basically what I would want to do very much is to uh, take off with another rocket, a shredder, this time a more effective one because uh, otherwise we are screwed. If we hit our own mech then uh, I have no words. Okay, we didn't. Alright. And uh, now, some brad, 66. Take it and do not fail. There we go, that is bloody awesome. One make to it down, one to go. Uh, but how do I get uh, around on to doing that? Well, I'm guessing two shots from the alloy cannon are gonna be enough, 100%. Bye-bye, Overwatch. One more. Come on, Zhang, you know you can do it. This is your destiny. Target neutralized. Okay, so far so good. Now, problems uh, are being solved slowly. Rock and roll. What do I have? I have Annette with alloy cannon, I have Cynthia, and I have Philippa. Well, I guess I gotta take care of stuff. So I will be shooting uh, the drone now. 54, 78. Bye bye drone. I don't. I simply don't want the drone to come around and ki uh, kill Reich, because that would be bad. Out of the game. Now lights out, Alexiu. She has to get some healing done for herself. I'm gonna overwatch overwatch out of sight because out of sight is out of mind and uh, let's hope the enemies come around and die now please <coughs> yeah, not good I have no plan right now I'm just thinking basically we're hearing the plan as it is being formed oh oh, oh I forgot this guy oh my fucking god please shoot the mech Thank you! So now I have a chance to ki of killing this guy, but I have to be very very good about it. As long as nobody panics, that is. Yes, it's bad. The sectoid suddenly lost a lot of their importance now, haven't they? I might just as well have Zhang take care of them or Annette or whoever. Don't care. Alright, Annette D. So I have to make sure that not only I will make it, but I will also survive this. And uh, quite frankly, I have... I haven't got the slightest about how I'm going to do it. 
I am going to of course try to heal up if the medkit's gonna be able to come around. That's awesome. I don't. I think uh, healing uh, the assault mech is going to be much uh, bigger priority than the tank mech because of the simple resilience. Tell me you take a nice shot, 61%. What if you go back a bit? 75. Well, you gotta hit it with your hit ammo. Hey, motherfucker, no! Well, I gotta do it then without hit ammo somehow. I'm going to need ammo soon. Well, you are going to need much more than ammo, believe me. All right, Zang. You gotta make this. Uh, we have to make this work somehow. I don't know how, but there must be a way. So how about I'm going to have Zhang come around, shoot a sectoid in the face. Confirmed. That's gonna eliminate one of my problems. I just don't want that mectoid to get shielded, because that would just be bloody ridiculous. Now what? Now I have mech number 2 eliminating sectoids. Uh, for the very same reason, I can't get around to get uh, the mech damaged anyway, and if I can eliminate sectoids, that just increases the chances of the other mech to survive. And... Uh, as much as, as much as the thought repulses me, this is what I have to be doing right now. Alright, what I want to have is a chem grenade working for me against the mectoid. I think this is gonna be my best chance to do it. Come on, come on. There you go. So we lower its aim more. I'm gonna try and Psy Panic it as well, but uh, this is not a, a, a certainty. Because you might not even be able to see it with Durand, let alone do anything to it. See? The only way I can try for a, a surefire uh, line of sight, to, with, which would allow me to get the ball rolling to my court, It's basically would uh, require me to sacrifice Durand if the Psy Panic doesn't work, and I don't want to do that because I am training her to be my volunteer. Because I don't like her, so I just want to get rid of her. And yes, I know the volunteer survives. She's gonna be far, far away though. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, make sure that my mech will survive. Because mech armors are fucking expensive and I can't afford it. Tell me you have a 100% Psy Panic or even close to it. It's gonna be a 50-50. As much as it would normally satisfy me... Uh, this is a question of do I want to sacrifice Annette Durand if it fails because we are gonna die then? At least Annette will die because the Mectoid is gonna have two 100% uh, kill shots on her. Or do I want to risk the mech? Frankly, I want to risk the mech, I'm sorry. Mech armor is uh, replaceable, Annette Durand isn't. Alright, Sectoids is uh, shooting the tank, which uh, which means... Uh, oh my god, no, 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 oh! If we uh, get shot another time, we just lost a mech armor. Oh ho ho, ho that was so lucky. Okay, the last Sectoid is approaching. Not gonna be able to do much, though. Oh, there is one more. My bad. 
Okay. What I want to do is I want King Reich to have uh, this time a better shot because last time it was 75 because we were moving. But now it's better, as you see. Negative. Weapons dry. See, why couldn't you do it the first time around, eh? Huh? That would solve so much problems. And we're gonna punch a sectoid. To fly, my baby! Fly! Back to your home planet. Alright, Dominga is gonna take a shot at this little guy now. We are no longer afraid that something bad is gonna happen to it. Some brat, uh, yeah, take a kill. Unless you don't wanna. That's fine with me. Shot wide. In that case we will have Annette okay, okay, to the honors. I don't think she ever got a kill on anything, so... Might as well start with a mechtoid. And we survived this, oh god. And now what I have to do is I have to come around against the Go sectoid down. and I'm gonna try and capture it alive because why not? No, seriously, why not? It's a free pl plasma pistol. Oh, that's why not. The alien was not disabled. The alien was not disabled. Okay, I'm gonna hide Cynthia because she only has three hit points left and uh, I don't care about her as much as I care about her suit. If she d if she dies, it is lost. If it is lost, I'm going to be very pissed off. Okay, Pierre. You are... Su uh, even though it looks like he's flanked, he really isn't. And that sector is gonna try to move and he's gonna die by the Zang. Oh god, no. Damn it. Thor, why do you do this to me? Well, doesn't matter. Alright, who wants a kill? I'm gonna give it to Wally. Oh! Okay, uh, looks like my ambush didn't go exactly as I was imagining it, and uh, I am quite surprised we had no casualties. But hey, I'm a genius. Well, if I would be a genius, I wouldn't walk right into that situation in the first place, though. Okay, now it's uh, when the dust is settled, how many promotions did we get? Awesome. Cynthia is out for a month, but that's fine, we have enough mechs. Uh, Lights Out is out as well, but as I said, that's fine, we have Shobanda to replace her. So what do I want? I'm going to take repair servos for the gunnery. And uh, Annette is gonna take hit warheads or smoke and mirrors or holo targeting? That is a good question. I am going to go with the smoke and mirrors. That way she can carry more green, more support grenades. Zhang would take... Okay, we have lightning reflexes. Liga is uh, already having that. Okay. We have Resilience, Immunity to Critical Hits, and uh, Vital Point Targeting is going to give me additional damage, which means uh, more damage. Duh. And I'm gonna go with that. Because that way we are going to be making bigger holes in the enemies, and that means uh, less of them are gonna be able to shoot back at me. And uh, Bart is taking Reaper, so that he's my new capturing officer. And we got some broken computers, power sources. I'm going to sell them. Come on, come on, there you are. I have quite a lot of those now, 120 cash. Cool, how is my hunger? We have the fighters in position in here. I need to build one, two... I need two. Alright. 
I think I'm building all I have to. So I'm just going to see if I have enough drone corpses to get myself the ghost grenade. Ooh, no I do not, because I need 15. Seeker Rex, not drone Rex. Oh jeez. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? So, I guess... Uh, I'm going to send Chronoschism into the gene lab, just to make her more I efficient. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. We have 77 of meld, we have 132 of cars, so I'm gonna t uh, send... I'm, go I'm generally uh, sending Master Sergeants into the gene, po uh, gene mod situation. Nobody else actually needs it. We're gonna take Adrenal. I'm gonna take, uh, take Depth Perception. I'm gonna take Muscle Fiber. Iron Skin is not imp uh, important. And bioelectric skin to stop uh, seekers from dealing any damage to me might be good. Neural dampening, uh, yeah, that way Kronos Kizmin is no longer going to panic and she isn't uh, a Psy operative, so she doesn't need it. Thank you, Commander. I'll have the volunteer prepped and ready for surgery shortly. I'll send word when the procedure is complete. Now look at this, it's going to be 32 days when Chronoschism is gonna be back in action and uh, she's gonna have uh, extended fatigue, but she's a master sergeant, she's not going to every single abduction and so on. So it's gonna be fine. Laser cannon is complete! La la la, hunger! So what are we doing? We have boss in here who might actually need it. But I can't afford to change his weapon right the hell now. So I'm going to change it on uh, Pops Arnold. Edit loadout, laser cannon, enjoy. And when the coil guns are ready, I am then going to uh, change the interceptor in Europe. Alright, we have another medium. Well, gonna shoot it down. And there will be some aircraft transferings done after that. So first, dodge, aim, make sure it stays dead because we have no other interceptor to do it with. There we go, no survivors, perfect. I can't really replace those uh, little things now, sadly. There is one little thing I can do, it's going to be... Uh, the targeting. I'm using them uh, often and that means we are running out of floater corpses, which sucks balls. Can't do anything about it, however. Laser pumpers uh, are gonna go for the sheave. What else do we have that I wanted to build? Weapon gyros we have, laser pumper, counter loader. Sentry gun. Sentry gun is basically my uh, Gauss weapon for a shiv. I don't want to build it. I'd rather use the laser pumper with the weapon we have, because uh, shivs don't have all that great accuracy and laser cannons are more accurate, so I'm counting on that to work in my way. And uh, here is a replacement satellite. The current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for I new know. satellite deployments. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take uh, wrong way right. He is going to go to Asia. And uh, Mad Dog is going to return to Europe. That way we are going to have three operational interceptors in Europe in two, uh, three days. And that is about everything I can do really. And Alerium research is complete, it's going to open many branches for me. We can make jellied Alerium to make flamethrowers more efficient, which is my absolute priority right now for the terror missions. But what do we have? We have mobile power armor, very important thing that is uh, right next on my uh, list, alien power systems. 
Uh, okay, it's gonna be right after the sectoid commander, but sectoid commander is a priority so that I can this train my psionics. This is an extremely dangerous species, commander. Although not physically intimidating, the psionic power that this creature wields is perhaps the greatest threat we've encountered so far. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure that what they serve in the cafeteria is the greatest uh, threat we've encountered so far. But uh, I uh, like the way you think. So, what do we need for the jelly delirium? 200 monies, so we need 133. That should be approachable. Alright, power source. I need this, I don't need this. I know, I know, but uh, I will be getting more UFOs shot down, and that means. <coughs> I'm sorry. And that means we are gonna be better. We're certainly keeping the boys down in the foundry busy. I'll let them know you've got another product. Yep. Skeleton key in three days. That means we are about to launch a satellite so that we detect the base and can go take it right away. I could actually use a chrono schism for this mission, but we can do without. And that pretty much means we are gonna be ready very, 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 very soon. Mine launcher complete. Awesome. The rocking is complete. Uplink is complete. I mean, a uh, targeting is complete. Coil guns are ready. Perfect. Hunger. Work on it. Five hours. Are we going to in uh, encounter a UFO in five hours that I will have to send a ship to take care of? Possibly. Is it going to happen? Most likely not. Am I taking the chances? No way in hell. So I'm gonna exploit it right here and when the second coil gun is ready aircraft I'm going to just do it complete. like this. There you go, aircraft transfer complete. So now everybody in my interceptor fleet is armed. Oh, one more thing. 3-8. I'm going to transfer Mango away. Mango can go to North America, we have uh, full of interceptors in there. And the coil gun can get sent to Europe. Yep, because it seems like aliens are concentrating around Europe, so they might be sending another base attack against me or something. I can't really say, but uh, let's get uh, uh, prepared, okay? And 5 mectoid score out of my 14 for scientists and engineers. Fine, why not? We need the scientists and we need the engineers. Psi grenades are complete. No longer we shall be using flashbang grenades. Skeleton key is up. Neural gun link is up. Aircraft transfer complete. And the uh, stuff is getting done, so where is the aliens? Where are you? Contact we are getting low on... Uh, oh. Hello. We are getting uh, low. Oh my god, is it coming for my base? No, it's a terror mission, isn't it? No, it just flew by. Okay, fine. And now we can assault the alien base, so this is the next thing I'm going to be doing. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, let me know in the comments, like the video and so on and so forth. And see you again next time. Bye-bye.